In this video, you will learn how to develop a linear regression model in PySpark. Linear regression analysis is used to predict the value of a variable based on the value of another variable. The variable you want to predict is called the dependent variable and the variable you are using to predict other variables value is called the independent variable. Let's import libraries. First we will import Spark session from PySpark dot sql import spark session this will help us to create a spark session then we will import the correlation from pyspark dot ml dot stat import correlation we will find the correlation using this class correlation next we will import functions import pyspark dot sql dot functions as f we will use some functions now I'm going to create the Spark session and save in object Spark. I will define the object Spark. I will call the class Spark section. And from this I will call builder dot get or create. Let's execute our code. Now I'm going to read a CSV file and save in a variable df. I'll write this variable df. From this object Spark, I will call the method read dot CSV and inside this I will pass my CSV file name insurance.csv I'll pass two parameters the first parameter is info schema this is going to be true this means that we want to get the column types and the next parameter is header this is this is true we want to get the column names let's execute our code to look at the data frame we will use the method show I will write df.show and here in the output you can see we got the data frame here we have columns such as age gender bmi children smoker region and charges in this data frame charges is a target variable that we want to predict and rest of all these other variables are our independent variable this is a insurance data set here we want to predict what would be the insurance charge for a person based on this independent variable let's go ahead and do this now first we will look how many samples are there in our data frame and we will use the method count df dot count in our data frame there are total 1338 samples we can also see how many columns are present in our data frame using the method length I write length of df dot columns and there are total 7 columns in our data frame we can also look at the schema that is the column types using the method print schema I'll write df dot print schema here in the output you can see we got the column types for example age is of type integer gender is string BMI double children integer smoker string region string charges double and so on we can also look at the descriptive statistics we will use the method describe I'll write df dot describe dot show and here you will see in the output we got these descriptive statistics here we have count mean standard deviation minimum and maximum for each column and this is only for the continuous column not for the categorical one we got here mean the mean of this you can see for this age, the gender, BMI, children, etc. We can also look at the head using the method head. I'll write df dot head. And this will give us the rows instead of a data frame. Here we got first row here. We can see five rows, ten rows. If I put here five, we will get five rows and here we will see we have five rows one two three four and five next we are going to find the correlation between our target variable and independent variable our target variable is charges and rest of these variables are independent variable we want to see how much percent of correlation is between these variables let's find the correlation first we will find the correlation between the variable age and charges I'll write df dot c o r r 
first I will write the independent variable that is age and then our target variable that is charges. Let's execute our code. The correlation between age and charges is 0.29 or 29%. Next we will find the correlation between the BMI and charges. BMI stands for body mass index. I will write df.cor BMI and then charges. Here in the output you can see uh, the correlation between these two variables is 19%. In our data frame, we have mixed type of columns such as numerical and string. Uh, you can see here in this summary function. But machine learning model only understand numbers and not alphabets or strings. We will convert our string variables into numeric using string indexer. First, let's print schema and see which variables are numerical and string. You can see here these are the variables uh, this age is integer gender is string we need to convert this string variables into type or uh, numeric so we need to convert this gender then smoker and region these three variables need to be converted and to convert this variable we will use string indexer let's import that from pyspark dot ml dot feature import string indexer now I'm going to make one variable indexer then I will call this class string indexer inside this first I will pass the input column parameter and this input column we are passing the uh, string columns let me just print all the column names I will write df dot print schema Our input column first is gender. We will write this gender because we want to convert this column into numeric. And then the next parameter is the output column. And in output column, we want our new column to be gender underscore cat. This will convert the gender column into numeric. And then in the next step, we will fit this on our data frame let's execute this or let's first fit this on the data frame I'll make one more variable indexed and then I will call this indexer dot fit and I will fit this on our data frame df and then I will also transform it transform df let's execute our code we will get a new column now this will create a new column gender underscore cat and this will have numerical values and to look at this new columns uh, that is saved in this variable index let's use the method show I will write indexed dot show and here in the output you can see we got this new column gender cat and if you look at the original column it has female and male for female it has assigned the value of 1 and for male 0 we have converted this column into categorical now we will convert other columns for that I will just copy this code from here and I'll put a new row here new cell here and now I will put the next column name our next one is chill uh, smoker let's do smoker here let's write smoker and our new variable will be smoker underscore cat and we will do the same for smoker and region and then instead of using data frame that is df that we have used here we will use index variable because we will save our new variables in this data frame index now instead of this df i will pass indexed here i'll copy this and then pass here indexed now i've done this for smoker and then i have to do it for region also i'll copy this code from here paste it here instead of smoker I will write here region and then here I will write region underscore cat let me execute these two lines first we did for smoker and now for region and if I print this again we will get two more new columns that is smoker underscore cat and region underscore cat let's execute our code and now you can see that we got these three new columns gender cat smoker cat region cat 
these are all numerical columns and now we can use these columns in our machine learning model from PySpark dot ml dot lean l import vector from PySpark dot ml dot feature import vector assembler let's execute our code I will make one variable assembler I will call this class vector assembler and in this I will pass the input column the first parameter is input columns and in this we will pass all the independent variable first I will print the column names I will write indexed dot columns and here we have the independent column names independent variables let's pass first age then BMI children then we will pass our new columns that is gender categorical smoker categorical and region categorical gender underscore cat smoker underscore cat and then region underscore cat and the next parameter is the output column I'll write here output column and our output column name will be features let's execute our code let's print this assembler and here you will see it is saying that it is vector assembler let's transform this assembler on our data frame indexed and save it in a new variable to see all these variables we need to transform this assembler on this data frame index then only we will see the actual values for all these columns let's make one new variable output and then call this assembler and then let's transform this on this data frame indexed let's execute our code uh, we got error here region underscore cat uh, here I have made spelling mistake I'll just remove E from here let's execute this again and then now we got the data frame here new data frame output and this new data frame will have the column features let's print output dot fee, uh, sorry show and here in the output uh, you can see we got uh, all the column names and our new column is features this column will have all our variables independent variables that we want because this is a very big data frame uh, we have so many columns that is why it is not printing very clearly but we can see that uh, I'll just show you I'll call this output dot select and we will see the column features and this column will have all our independent variable and then the target variable that is charges dot show and now you will see clearly what I am trying to say using this vector assembler we got this new column that is features and it has all the independent variables I'll just pass one more parameter truncate is equal to false then we can see all the values instead of this dot dot now you can see we got all the values in the features column and I'll show you what it means here you will see we have independent variables and let me count how many independent variables are there 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and in our features column we should have 6 values let's see 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so all those independent variables got converted into one single column that is features and this is our target column now let's create our final data frame for developing the linear regression model it will have only features in our target variable our final data frame will have only these two columns that is features and charges because in features we are having all the independent variables let's create that I'll make one variable 
final underscore data and then I will call this or I will just uh, copy this code from here because we want these two columns only and paste it here this time I, I'll have to remove this show function and let's execute our code let's see our final data dot show and here you can see in our final data frame we have only two columns features and charges and we are going to run our linear regression model on this data frame final data next we are going to split our data frame into train and test in training data set we will have 70 percent of the data set and in test we will have the 30 percent let's do that i will write train underscore data it will have training data and then test underscore data it will have test data and then i will call the final data frame final underscore data and then i will call this random split this will help us split the data frame into train and test and we want training 0.7 that is 70 percent and test 0.3 that is 30 percent let's execute our code and we got our error here random split i have to put d here it's my mistake now let's run this again and we have split this data frame into train and test data let's look at the train and test data i will write train underscore data and it is a data frame dot show and you will see this is our train data and then we also have this test data i'll copy this from here and paste it here dot show this is our test data set now we are going to develop the linear regression model we have prepared our data we have done all the pre-processing let's import the linear regression class first i will write from pyspark dot ml dot regression import linear regression now i will create an object of this class linear regression and save in object lr i will call this class linear regression and inside this function i will pass our independent and target column i will first pass the parameter feature columns and this will have the independent variable that is features column and the next parameter is label column that is the target variable and our target variable is charges let's execute our code we have created this object lr linear regression now we are going to fit this on the training data set and we will save the result in a new variable i'll make a new variable trained underscore model and then i will call this object lr and i will call this fit method and i want to fit it on the training data set that is why i will pass here train underscore data let's execute our code now we have fit this linear regression model on the training data set now we can evaluate this let me print this first you will see we have this linear regression model this is the id and this is the hyperparameter that is the number of features is equal to six now we are going to evaluate this train uh, this model and we will see how it is performing we will look at the accuracy metrics let's let me create one variable results and then i will call this train model because we want to evaluate this model and from this i will call the function evaluate and then I want to evaluate it on the training data set I will pass here train underscore data let's execute our code now first we will look at the R square I will write print results dot R square and you can see the value of R square is 0 0.74 that is good R square value should be as close to 1 and here we have 0 0.74 that means it is a good fit then we can also check the mean square error i will write print results dot mean square error and here in the output you can see this is our mean square error we can also 
print the mean absolute error i will write print results dot mean absolute error and this is our mean absolute error now we are going to make predictions on the test data set i'll make one variable unlabeled underscore data and then i will call the test data this time not the train data and from this i will select the features column because we just want the features column and now let's see what we have in this unlabeled data i will copy this from here and paste it here dot show and we have these features of this test data we, we are going to make predictions i'll make one variable predictions and then i will call this train model using this train model we are going to make prediction on the test data dot transform and our test data features are present in this unlabeled underscore data variable we will pass this variable here i will write unlabeled data let's execute our code now let's look at the predictions predictions dot show and here in the output you can see these are the predicted charges for this uh, first sample the predicted charge is 2407 for second it is 2796 point something and so on this is how you can develop a linear regression model in PySpark. I have shown you everything step by step. Now you can easily develop a linear regression model. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.